all your boys out in dubs. Debre, debre, Dubai. Listen, my, firstly, my sincere apologies. 2024 has not been diesel for YouTube. It's been diesel else, everywhere else. Most clients we've had, it's been good signing contracts and that, but I apologize, I've been very slack on a YouTube. In today's video, a little bit of training footage with me and Big Con, you'll watch that, and then we'll come back here and we'll sit down and discuss how much it's gonna cost for your first cycle. Enjoy the video. Oh. Uh, Yep. Yeah. Oh. That's you, that's you. No, oh. nice. one. Yep, let's go. Nice, bring it in. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Come on now, come on now. Use that pad, use the pad. There we oh. go, beautiful. Oh. Strong, strong, strong. Through oh. that mid, through that mid. With me, with me, with me. Oh, you. We are in for push with Mr. Uh, Connor Lunde, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is your middle name Money? Get it? <laughs> Money Lunde? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bit of push today. Chest fly, incline press. My lateral work is just a Cybex seated lat raise and then a standing arsenal. And then I go into my triceps, so maybe a short session for you, lad. Yeah. But we'll get it done. What do you usually do in terms of like increments? Normally like 10, yeah. 15. So 45, 55, 65. I might go 40, 55, 70. 65. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then 65, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's like 75. You can that. gauge, yeah, nice. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Big fucking set, con. Big chest, lad. Nice and fucking tight from the get-go. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. No. I see it on that first one. What did you say you're doing at the moment in terms of your push? So you're doing four? Yeah, I've got about three or four weeks left to push. Yeah. And then four week pullback. Yeah. And then another 10 push. And is that how it's been executed throughout the whole thing? 10 weeks on, four week cutback? No, back. the prep, prep was like in a total of 20, well, we included all the shows, 24 weeks total. Yeah, yeah. Um, but before that, it was just, we just pushed, we never pulled back. But this time, we won't take longer off. Yeah, nice. So pulling back is gonna help. Nice. When we get to like 250. Yeah, yeah. I'm like 230 now. Fuck me. When we get to like 250, and then start prepping, the end of 2024. What's that in kilos, 230? 230 is uh, 105. Jesus. Yeah. 105 key. At five, At five six, 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 yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh. 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 Fucking partials in there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Delt work at the moment. So direct delt work. I'm doing quads and delts on a Tuesday. And in that particular session, we've got two sets on the Arsenal strength. And then delts on this push is just literally lateral raise, seated Cybex lateral raise, which you just seen, and standing Cybex, sorry, standing Arsenal. So two, four, only about six sets for delts at the moment. Growing pretty well. It's not an area that I'm really looking to target too much in this push-up. More so legs, arms, a little bit of back density. And then we'll make some adjustments and some tweaks, more than likely at the end of this training block into next year. Just some small cues when we are doing our lateral raise work. You'll notice that we're not standing bolt inside the machine. We don't want to be lateral raising from here to here. When we think about that chromium process and your tissue hitting that, there's very limited range if you're just going from here to here. So if you make a, a slight shift and take your arms out here, the ability to get even short is there. So you will see we've gone from lengthen to kind of mid, and then we're going from lengthen to mid to short. Equally, if you don't have a, an arsenal strength machine in your gym, 
bit of back support or some stability and just get the dumbbells go really light boom boom like so on to some tricep movements now do like a seated extension and then like a VUR press and that'll be our stump one like that yep. oh god they're gone <laughs> Hey! Where are you gripping it? Are you gripping it in that kind of semi? Yeah. Yeah, you are, yeah. Just coming off the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, James taught me, he did it with a flat bar, but like, coming out like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads more like as if you're like a fucking dip as almost. As if you're doing a dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Because he did it with a flat bar, so it was like, he was doing it like here. And he's over it. He had it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Now, I think going out, I get a lot more. Yeah, because sometimes I'm in, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm going long head again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. I think if I go narrow, I'll, I can go forever. Sure. But as soon as I stretch out a bit, yeah, yeah. I get way more activation in the stretch. Yeah. I mean, it's 2.04, we've got some blistering heat. I don't know how long we got on that camera and this laptop before it starts to, no, I am panicking. It starts to overheat a little bit. But uh, let's jump straight into it. Now, to caveat this, this, how much is your first cycle gonna cost by discussing what I would recommend your first cycle be. Keeping things very, very basic something just like test E or test SIP and Prima Bolin as your two primary drivers. We're not looking at growth hormone, we're not looking at any other additions to the stack, your first cycle, keeping things very basic. We'll just say for the sake of this video, around about 300 milligrams of test E per week. Primo, even if we were to go for like a one-one ratio, which may have the potential to crush your estrogen a little bit too much, Again, just for the sake of the video, we'll run with uh, a one-one ratio between your test and your primo. So I wanna firstly discuss the, the kind of pre-cycle costing. What we'll do is we'll get a little, we'll get a little tally ometer, cashometer of how much this first cycle is gonna cost. I wanna discuss the, the pre-cycle costing, which is something that I think a lot of people go into and, and completely overlook. So first, you have to, get some pre-cycle blood work done. Now, the sports hormone, I think, will cover enough, more than enough bases with Medichex, and that will come in at around about 109 pounds. If you use my code, you should get about 10% off. That will take you down to about 99 or 100 quid. So, sports hormone blood check is a, a must. We must see where your lipids, where your levels are at, where your test, estrogen, your hormones are before looking to, to jump on. Second, this I've got here in brackets optional. I've got an echocardiogram. I think it would be a good opportunity for you guys and girls to see where your, or how your heart is functioning. A good echocardiogram I think will, will serve as a good base and you can kind of use that in future up and coming cycles. But I think everyone should have an understanding of where their heart is at and how it's functioning. It's all very well and good getting some blood work done in that particular occasion in its acute form, your blood work may come back positive in terms of your lipids, but we don't know how your heart's been functioning up until the point of you doing your first cycle. So getting some form of echo would be, would be my advice. You can get that for around about 250. I pay about 250 up in, up in London. So pre-cycle blood work, a, a must, echocardiogram. Now looking at uh, getting all your required health supplementation, Again, to cover all bases, you're looking at the advanced health stack from supplement needs. You're looking at kidney and blood pressure, you're looking at liver, and you're looking at heart. So the combination of all three is about 125 quid. You can get a subscription to those, and that's about 119 per month. So if we're looking at three month blast for your first cycle, it's about 360 quid to cover all bases for your health supplementation. There are a few other things that I potentially look to add in there, like a, a vitamin D as an example, some omegas, but that's not gonna break the bank too much. You're probably looking at for the three, three months an additional, I don't know, 20, 30 quid. Get the, the Deluxe spray from Holland and the Barrett and again, get some good quality omegas from supplement needs. I'd also recommend you donate blood. Now, donating blood is free, it's not a cost. It's, uh, it is something that I recommend everyone do not necessarily just because they're going on a cycle, but every three months, 
get get your blood donated it's, it's good it's good for the for the community as well I, I i like to have a little clear out a little oil change i call it on instagram when i get my my blood donation done so highly recommend you donate blood now into the actual cycle itself needles and syringes you're looking at about 15 quid and that gives you a hundred so the bd emerald syringes are what i'd recommend i get my needles from medi supplies so medi checks for blood work medi supplies for needles and syringes they'll be blue top so yeah 100 that's more than enough to inject twice per week and also draw don't inject with the same needle that you draw okay we don't want to blunt the needle especially it being your first cycle we don't want any issues with build up of scar tissue so you're looking around about 15 quid for your needles and syringes now onto the juicy stuff, the good stuff, the actual costing. This is going to differ from, from brand to brand, lab to lab, but uh, a 300 milligram per mil, 10 mil vial of testosterone, I usually pay around about 35 quid. We're going to, this video, we're going to attack from the point of view of someone doing a 12 week blast and then dip it into like a TRT cruise. So I would be in a position where I'd look to recommend you get maybe an additional vial. So you've got your vials for your blast and then you've got your vial for your TRT. So 300 milligrams per mil, 10 mil, 35 quid. You're gonna need three of those vials which will set you back around about 105 pound. Now onto the Primo, good Primo. Primo in general is quite expensive. I pay about 42 pound per vial. The downside to that is that vial is around about 150 milligrams per mil. You can get stronger, so higher strength Primo bottles but I, I pay, like I said, 150 meg per mil, 10 mil vial at 42 pound. You're probably gonna need about three of those. So you're looking at around about 126, okay? Blood work again, halfway through the cycle. So if you're doing a 12 week cycle, I'd look at getting your blood work done around about week, I'd say either week four or week six, but I tend to go slap bang in the middle, week six. Testosterone, free testosterone and estrogen blood test is about 69 quid. That's what I'd recommend you get from, from Medi Checks, okay? So we wanna know where your levels are at halfway through your cycle. And if we need to make some adjustments to your cycle off the back of that blood work, then we can do exactly that. So test, free test and estrogen blood test around about 69 quid. That should pretty much cover all bases. Now the total cost for that that I've got on here is 1,034 pound. So you're probably thinking, my word, that's a lot of money for a first cycle, it is. But if you wanna cover all bases from a health supplementation standpoint, decent quality gear, and also blood work and understanding your body and your health, it's, it's a necessity. This is why I think we run into so many issues when it comes down to anabolic steroid usage, because people aren't willing to pay for the blood work. They're not willing to pay for the health supplementation, and they run into issues, they run into, all sorts of issues. You could have a pre-existing condition with your heart or pre-existing high lipids or, or, or really poor LDL and HDL. That needs to be corrected. We need to, to sort that issue before you start cycling. Now, if you're looking at that and going, oh God, it's gonna cost me a lot. Yeah, it might cost a thousand pounds, but it's better than costing, it doesn't sound so excessive and say costing your life, but it's, it's, it's a lot of money that's not gonna cost you long-term health issues. So you have to be willing to spend that money. Like I said, this is coming from the point of view of someone that I'd be looking to go from 12 weeks into some form of TRT, whereby that 300 milligrams of test per week will probably drop into the region of maybe 125 to 150. And that single vial may last them about 20 or so weeks. So what we might do is a different video whereby we attack it from the point of view of someone who is looking to post-cycle therapy. It might be quite a nice idea to go through what I'd recommend you do for a post-cycle therapy, and then we can cover the cost in that as well. I think that might be quite a good idea. But uh, that, that's the sort of recommendations of, of how much I think I'd probably be looking at for recommending on a, on a first cycle, around about a thousand quid. All in, health supplementation, blood tests, heart scans, suppl supplementation, and uh, the actual anabolics themselves. So, okay. I'm really, I'm aware that this heat is about to melt my camera, my microphone and my laptop, so I'm gonna call things a day there. Like I said, we're out in dubs. We've got, we've got like a backlog of videos. We've got the Dubai vlog, 
We've got the no poison video, which will be after this one. Then there'll be the Dubai, Dubai vlog, and then we'll be up and running. I've been pumping a lot of time and energy into my Instagram content recently. So, uh, yeah. Spinning plates, man. I've got so many plates to spin. So I apologize for the lack of YouTube content, but uh, yeah, having a good time out here. It's a little bit overwhelming, I must admit. I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna reserve my judgment. I don't know how I'm feeling about Dubai. On one hand, I like the cleanliness, the OCD. The other hand, I'm like, all these people around me just seeking validation through material goods. So I'm thinking, it's reminded me of the old Tim Sol because I don't like it too much, I must admit. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be here. I need to soak up the sun. Stomach's not in a good spot, man. We, you know, I've been banging on about it enough for, for like a, coming up to a year now. So we, we shall see. But yeah, so far so good. Having a, having a decent time. Hope all of you lot are all okay. I will see you in the next video, which will be the no poison. No poison, don't be poisoning yourself with this food, man. Could be the reason why we all got these stomach issues. But, uh, right, well, I love you and leave you. I'm gonna go down the beach. Client check-ins are done, YouTube videos done. Joe's about to wrap up his clients. It's going tan, baby. Thank you, good night, much love.